Hello boys and girls. Um, this video is about what you need to do to complete your writing post test. Now, if you remember back at the beginning of the year, we did a writing pretest, or those of you who are here at the beginning of the year. So um, new students, um, you would need to just do this assignment and complete it and not worry about having done the pretest. You will just do this one assignment. Um, but boys and girls, this paper actually goes in your writing portfolio, which stays um, at the school every year and then is passed on um, to the next grade. So it's a really important paper. And one of the things I want you to think about as you do this paper is make sure you have a nice title at the top, not flying in the air. Skip one line, indent. Make sure you have a really good topic sentence. Um, if you want to send me your topic sentence and send me your concluding sentence to make sure they're good, I will approve those. Um, that's what I would uh, probably do at school. Just make sure you don't have any no-no sentences, and I'll give you some examples of those as I go through the topics. But you're going to want to choose one of these topics and write the best paper that you can. Um, I just keep make sure you go to the margins you don't go past the margins make sure you sign and date the paper at the very bottom um, use your best cursive handwriting or your best handwriting and um, try to really explore the topic and do as much detail as possible ideally these should be more than one page um, if you do them correctly. You want to add in lots of details, and I'll kind of go through those things as we go through the topics. Now, you may remember which topic you chose at the beginning of the year, and if you can remember and you do want to do that same topic, please do. If you can't remember which topic you chose, just choose one and it'll be fine. For number one, uh, this is the first topic. It said, explain how you get ready for bed. Your topic sentence should not be, this is how I get ready for bed. No, please don't do that. Um, you need to say a, a good topic sentence, like getting ready for bed is very simple. Okay, now here's where the details come in. You actually have to use the words first, next, then, you need to use sequencing words that actually tell all the details. If you brush your teeth, what do you do? You need to be very specific with these details, okay? Um, and then at the very end, it should not say, and that is how I got ready for bed. No, just do a restatement of the topic sentence. Keep it simple, okay? The second choice was to write a story about a fun time that you have had with a friend. So it could be anything, any fun thing that you did with a friend. Now, this is more of a story. So you're going to be telling in detail about the story. But think about um, actually put yourself in that story and tell all the things about it. It should have paragraph indentions. If there are characters talking back and forth, you know you indent before and after uh, uh, characters talk. The third choice was to describe your favorite meal. Now, this one, you need to include lots of details that have to do with the five senses. You know, what does your favorite meal look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? Be specific about those things, okay? And again, your topic sentence should not be, this is my favorite meal. No. Um, uh, the last choice is to convince someone what the best pet is. Now, for this choice, this is a persuasive paper. So you need to give people reasons, um, give people uh, evidence as to why this is the best pet. Don't just say, well, this is the best pet because I say it is. No, you got to give some, some proof, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to choose one of these topics, one, and write the paper. I will email this um, these topics to you so you'll have them written down. Uh, I will do that on um, Monday morning. And um, 
just write the best paper you can, put it in uh, a folder of work that you will drop off at the school at the end of this week. So you will have another drop off for a folder of work at the end of this week, okay? So you have until Friday to complete this assignment. No, no, no sentences, please. Please, no, no, no sentences. Bye. Oh, if you throw in some really interesting words, that'd be good. If you throw in a semicolon, that would be good. If you throw in, I don't know, a complex sentence, any of the things that we've talked about, we've learned about, that'd be good to show that you can add in a little bit of extra pizzazz to your writing, that would be good. All right, bye, happy writing.